Hey, Van Pope here. Hope you've been well. Welcome to episode 9 of 9 Countries in 9 Days, the video series in which we drive from Sweden to Portugal in my Toyota Land Cruiser 120 series. In this video, we drive across the north of Spain, westbound, towards the border with Portugal. And this morning, we wake up in Hotel Palacia de Burgos, where, after the breakfast buffet, we start the engine deep down in the hotel's private parking garage. Today's route starts in the city of Burgos, taking the Autovia westbound towards the city of Ponferrada, in the northwestern province of Leon. Oh, they're all flying out, it's perfect. Very nice city. It's beautiful actually, I really really like it. Back in France, we picked up some uh, some small, I don't know, small insects that were all over the car. They kind of came down from the tree, and uh, there are tons of them all over. So we're trying to rinse them off. And I come Some vacuum. Uh, it takes only one euro coin. Can I? States actually. Yeah, this is the Meseta Iberica, like the kind of like a high altitude plateau. Yeah. So, I would like to make a suggestion. Yeah. In about uh, one hour, Switch. let's let's have a quick let's have a pit stop, set up the, the quick pitch, 
let it dry a little bit and pretend that we feel like it. Yeah. Wait for half an hour or so while we sip on our cokes and continue the trip. That sounds really, really nice. Okay. Either we find a spot randomly in an hour from now or we try and uh, search for it. Yeah. How are weather conditions to drive today? It's extremely windy. Uh, it's uh, some overcast, which is pretty decent. It's nice. It's uh, cold. It may not look like it because of the sun, but uh, it's about 11 degrees. Overall, the highways in Spain, they don't disappoint. They're, uh, they're pretty good, actually. At least this bit here in the north. Really well maintained and uh, very, very quiet. So, uh, yeah, the landscape here reminds me a little bit of the states. At the end of last year, we were driving uh, across four different states. Uh, remind me, we were in Arizona. Utah, Nevada, Nevada, California, and California. Yeah. And actually, if you look around here, the landscape seems quite similar. It's uh, very quite flat, long, long vistas. The area we're driving over now is called the Iberian Plateau. Portuguese is Meseta Ibérica. I think the Mesa. Mesa is, uh, is a term used in the States as well. I know it from the Black Mesa complex, which is of course from Pathlight. And Portal as well. In the distance I just spotted uh, one of those uh, typical Mesas. So it's another two hours and 20 minutes. Looks like we're gonna be going into a hotel. Predicted to be rainy tonight. Uh, we don't want to pack up a wet tent again because tomorrow the whole day it's gonna be raining. So, uh, but what we will do is stop for a pit stop. I bought some uh, some snacks, some Coke, Aquarius, Doritos, of course, my favorite chili. Then we can uh, dry out the tent a little bit. Yes, let's do it. This must be a really nice drive during early, early summer. Early summer, yeah, all the fields turning, turning to the to the sun. Yeah. So this uh, route is part of the Camino de Santiago. Yeah. Lots of land cruises here. I love seeing the same model has also spotted quite a lot of uh, 125s which is the three-door version I don't think I would ever buy the, the three-door it's too small I like the space of the 120 but I think they're very capable of course they're easier to off-road with because shorter wheelbase yeah it's basically this for uh, another couple of hours cruise control on
it's actually pretty windy. The tents are pretty much dry, so we'll munch away a little bit more and then we'll pack it up and continue our journey. Peso, five euro fifteen. We currently find ourselves exiting the A6 just past Ponferrada and instead of blasting straight through to our final destination in Portugal, we decided to add one extra day and take some more time to visit a spectacular historical site. Alright, the weather might not be the best but we are almost arriving at Las Medulas. Patrimonio de Humanidad. We have about two hours of daylight left, so hopefully we can still uh, see some of the aqueducts and some of the remains of the mine. The Roman gold town, one of the most important sources of gold of the early Roman Empire. And while driving up to it, we saw a lot of uh, mining activity still happening actually. It's probably not gold mines, but other type of quarries all over this region. The way that they used to mine is uh, build shafts in the rock and then build aqueducts and then basically direct the water through those shafts so that the water would actually do the, the mining, form of hydraulic mining. Very steep 12. You might want to go into second. Slow down a bit more. Yeah. Yes. It's a very steep, long way down. Don't want to make that same mistake again where we uh, overheat the brakes. Like crazy. Straight. Okay, go straight then. Oh, look, 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 look. Whoa.
Oh, look at the rainbow. Oh, rainbow. Well, we should go look for some gold. <laughs> Yeah. Look at this crazy yeah. illumination of the of the trees. Oh, so oh. intense! It is. Further to the right. Yep. I'm going up, he's going down. That should work. Yeah. We are officially here in Ponferrada. We've just arrived in uh, the hotel parking lot of Pontferrada. Right there. It's all about Perfect. Let's go. Another hotel, the last hotel of this trip. Thanks so much for joining us. Tomorrow is the final day of this crazy trip. Nine countries, nine days. So subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. <laughs> Let's check out our hotel.
last hotel of the trip, people. So this uh, this is interesting. I haven't seen this before. Like a police crime scene store seal. This time it's uh, your room has been hygienized. Disinfected conform legislation vigente. The seal actually break. <laughs> I didn't see the seal break. But... Not bad. What's this? Looks like a PlayStation. More of a nineties console. When someone applied a wrap, a marble wrap to it. Bio is life. There's a button here. Oh yeah, blood pollution risk nanoparticles. Yep. I'll check the bathroom. Oh, it's green marble. That is pretty cool, actually. Our tonight's bubble bath. This device, though, I'm so intrigued. <laughs> yeah. We have a Bio A60 in our room. Are you up for pizza? Let's go and get some pizza then. Whew. All right, so after a long day, yeah, I must say I'm pretty tired and we're gonna download some pizza. <laughs> That's it for episode nine. Yes, technically this series should now be called nine countries in 10 days. Or will we make it? Join us next time to find out. Like a whole pack of stickers as well to already start collecting. No yeah, it was the present. Came with it. Panini, I used to collect these as a.